This is your boy Next Gen 720. And I make a great cup of coffee. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? If you're new to my channel, my name is Next Gen 720, aka the Godfather of Xbox, aka the Bot Father. A.K.A. I live in the 4K Embassy. Why? Because every TV in my house, 4K HDR. <laughs> Take all jokes aside. What's going on? Listen, uh, if you haven't checked out my last few videos, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. For entertainment, to have fun, and it will also give you my opinion on my one of my hobbies, which is gaming. Uh, check out the multiplayer podcast. Great show yesterday. K made this funny as hell. Uh, you know, had a great show talking about several topics. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. About two weeks ago, me and my my boy D Crap Gamer, you know, we did a video stating that uh, was word around town is that Sony bought about the PlayStation Four Pro overheating and. There were some issues with the PS4 Pro. Uh, and, you know, you think about it, they have a new hardware coming out in less than about, about two weeks. And there's no commercials. Uh, you know, there's, it's not out in the store for people to try it out to see if it's, it's worth them upgrading. None of this. You know what I mean? So we did a video, like I said, heard some things that the PS4 Pro was overheating and, and it was crashing. You know... When Sony went to show the, you know, the PS4 Pro uh, running uh, at certain places, certain events and stuff, uh, especially at Paris Games Week, it crashed a few times and was overheating. So now some of this footage is just starting to come out, you know. People got cell phones everywhere. But when we did the video, we got called, again, everything but a child of God. We're doing it for clicks. We're doing it for this. We're doing it for that. Spreading spread misinformation. Doing all this. We're doing everything, right? So, you know, these same people, I wonder, that made all these videos about us saying that we're spreading misinformation and yada, yada, yada. I wonder if these people are going to be mad enough to, uh, and not that I care, we'll be mad enough to say, you know, we were wrong. You know, this, you know, we, we were wrong, just, you know, uh, we apologize, you know. But it's crazy. I'm going to tell you what's crazy. Sometimes, like I say all the time, I have to say when a lie is more entertaining than the truth. When I say we just do us, that's it. And everybody's always worried about what we do, what we say, and this, that, and the other. If they take that same energy and worry about themselves, this gaming community would be a much better place. This me for real. I not that I mind. I don't care. You know what I mean? Ninety nine point nine percent of the videos that are made, I don't even watch them. Or well, somebody do a laugh in my damn stuff. Like I don't care. Like you know what I mean? I it, you know like I, somebody that I don't know is going to make a video talking about me that don't know me. <laughs> but anyway, so some of this footage is starting to come out. Starting to leak. The PS4 cutting up, crashing, overheating, to having troubles running Final Fantasy. Which I heard before. I was having troubles running Final Fantasy even within at E3. Uh, just, even just the standard PlayStation 4 Pro, you know. Now, from what I also, from what I gather, because i um, not mistaken, the Final Fantasy is going to support quote unquote HDR on the Xbox One S. And, um, but it's day one. I don't, I don't think Sony's this is going to be day one or something like that, because Phil alluded to a tweet or something that or they the, the Final Fantasy uh Final Fantasy fifteen or whatever the case remake. I'm not a Final Fantasy dude. You know the one the Final Fantasy is coming out in this this next month or whatever the case. Uh yeah, you outside? Yeah, I am announced, I told you. I'm announced. Oh. Um Yeah the Final Fantasy is coming out. Um 
which is a uh, a quote unquote a graphically I mean, not graphically but you know as far as CPU heavy wise it's a lot going on screen with the enemies the boss battles and stuff uh, but anyway it said the PS4 the regular PS4 also was you know uh, this is anything about the pro or it was having issues you know what I mean frame rate was horrible all over the place and then also to heard the same thing about then later on start to hear that the PS4 Pro was having problems with running uh, this game you know what I mean uh, was freezing was crashing and then it just started overheat. Now there's a video from the Paris Games Week of the PS4 Pro running Final Fantasy and overheats and crashes. Now listen, and all jokes aside, I hope this is not a widespread issue with the PlayStation 4 Pro because if it is, let's be clear this, you know, this will ruin Sony. They don't have the pockets of Microsoft to bounce back from a red ring of death. Sony right now, their customer service is already shitty. You know, I mean, that's when I buy any, well, any console I get anyway, I get the warranty from the store from Best Buy. Because trying to go back and through, through Sony, they're going to charge you. And Sony just has really horrible customer service for fixing their product. They do. You know what I mean? But anything that I buy, period, I get the in-store warranty. You know what I mean? So I ain't going to go through sending it back with the box. No. Nah. I pay the extra fifty dollars. Even though I'm covered through Microsoft and Sony and whoever Nintendo, whoever makes the product, I'd rather just take this store, swap it out, get a brand new one, put more shows on it. That's how I do mine. Now crap did a video y'all yesterday and saying that, you know, the P this is before the videos are starting to come out, that you know, we the, the, they was thinking about, you know, pushing the launch of the PS4 Pro back PS4 Pro back. Um to fish uh the the crash and the, the overheat uh, problems with the quote unquote the PS4 Pro. And I'm going to say this because I don't have a PlayStation right now. I was looking forward to getting a PlayStation 4 Pro November 10th. If this is a widespread issue, Sony would, you know, forget, you know, this whole trying to get the job on Microsoft and the Scorpio and forget all that. They need to fix what's wrong with this with this console. You know what I mean? If it's even, you know, you know, if it's down to the design, whatever the case may be. Because the PS4 Pro looks just like the quote unquote let's this looks like the PS4 standard at this one layer higher, you know what I mean? Um and I think also still the, the heat supply, uh I'm sorry the power supplies inside the console. I don't think there's no brick. You know what I mean? But there's several like I said again, like yeah, where there's smoke, quote unquote no pun intended, there's fire. And <laughs> it's crazy as hell. You know what I mean? But when we said there's a PS4 supposed to be crashing and overheating, problems with overheating, they like said we, we didn't know what the hell we was talking about. Hey, Lynn, I'm not, listen. Oh, he uses the troll. He, why would you, why would you, I'm not wishing doom and gloom on anybody. What part does he tell me that I'm buying? A PlayStation 4 Pro, if I can, like I said, I just hope again that Sony. I uh, just hope it's not a widespread issue. You know, I just hope it's not a widespread issue. But supposedly, every time Sony showed this thing to the public, it's crashing and it's overheating. Sony's releasing a lot of hardware this year. A lot of hardware. The PS4 Slim, PlayStation VR, and now the PlayStation 4 Pro. This will cripple Sony. Let's be clear this. If this is the case, you know what I mean, with these quote-unquote. People are already a little skeptical about going out and buying the PlayStation 4 Pro. Some people are fine with what they have. I was some guys in my comment section yesterday was saying 4K is a gimmick. Now, people that say 4K is a gimmick. Uh, they're just saying that obviously because they don't, I don't, I'm not saying they can't, I'm not going to be mean to say they can't afford it. 4K is not a gimmick. There's nothing gimmick is about that. You know, it's like people say, well, 1080p is a gimmick. You know, you know, the reason why, quote unquote, we buy these, these flat, these, you know, these high definition TVs, because we, you know, want things to look clearer, you know what I mean? Or whatever the case may be, uh, at a higher resolution. But don't say that 4K is a gimmick that, you know. Now, if you want to say checkerboard, if you want to say that's a gimmick, I give you that. 
You know what I mean? But don't knock something because you don't have it and call it a gimmick. You know what I mean? Like, nah, there's nothing gimmicky about 4K. You know what I mean? It's a if you like 1080p, well, but just if you guys were saying that 720p is unacceptable and 1080p is life, once you see 4K, there's no going back to 1080p. Let's be clear that there's a big, it's a huge difference. We're talking about 4K is four times the resolution of 1080p. You know what I mean? But again, like I said, I'm gonna be nice, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna offer my condolences to Sony, and I hope this thing is not a widespread issue. You know. This console comes out in two weeks or so. You know, like I said, just think about normally before you buy a console or whatever the hell, it's in the stores. You can play it. See, I like it. Like, you know, where's the commercials for this thing? Where are the, we said, where's the beef? Where's the commercial for the damn PlayStation 4 Pro? I don't know, man. But anyway, this is your boy next to 720, but I hate to be the Xbox to say I told you so, but I told you, ho. I'm out of here, man. Bang, bang.